Hey, what's up everybody? My name is TrophyNut and welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda. It's been a while for me at least, because uh, I spread the episodes out pretty far on the channel. But for me, I think it's been about two weeks since I played the game. Uh, and there has been a patch that, well, probably should have fixed a bit about the face. So to that end, I'm right next to uh, the tired face lady, Addison. Let's talk to her. Something you want, Ryder? Wow. You'll have to see to your um, own ship. I'm not in a risk-taking mood. So yeah, her eyes are a bit more shaded, but they still seem tired. Excuse me, Director Addison. Of course, Ryder. So they look a bit better, but aside from that, I'm just gonna stop it. I've said enough about that. I made a separate video about my problems with uh, Mass Effect Andromeda, so we're not going to go deeper into that. What I do want to do today is check out where those technical malfunctions came from, so... Oh, there we go. There's another one of those. Pathfinder, to cover their tracks, the saboteur is overloading power to this panel from another junction relay. Okay, the sabotage was performed remotely. You can scan and trace the connective wiring to locate the surrogate panel. Okay, then. So, if you can trace back to the source, we may be able to discern who had access to the site. Oh. That is... I'm not going to be able to check that from over here. But I need to be able to follow this somehow. It goes... up oh, over there. Scanning power junction relays. This panel is malfunctioning. Without more data. I cannot determine if this is a normal malfunction, or sabotage. I'll just disable power to the panel until Raj can check it out. Okay, can I actually do that physically, or...? No, okay. So let's head towards the last panel and see who's been causing this, uh, this sabotage. There we go, another malfunctioning one. Scan and trace the wiring to locate the panel that the saboteur used. Okay, ooh, it's going. What the hell? It's going up there. Let's go... Oh, god damn it. This is not as handy as it looks, but... It's that panel over there then, probably. Pathfinder, I received the data from Sam. It really is sabotage. Any idea as to who it might be? Yeah. All these panels were worked on by Zara. I just can't believe it. Security video logs confirm that Zara Kellis worked on these panels, as well as the one Raj Patil encountered. Well, shit. Any idea where she is now? Kellis is currently working on a panel on the Hyperion main deck. On the main deck, so over here. Is she the one with the purple hair? No. Oh, it is downstairs. God damn it. It's not all that clear. She's not over here. Oh, there's another room over here. I never really checked this out. Hello? Cora? Hello, Cora. The habitation deck. Do I really need to go over there? I'm just gonna talk to Cora for a bit. Hey there. You okay? Those guys really grilled you. And Addison. First Pathfinder they've seen in over a year. All she can do is question your competence. Um, which one was Addison again? Her rec reaction is understandable. Nothing I couldn't handle. I expected something like that. I can handle the pressure. Good to hear. I worked out logistics with Director Tan. They're giving us a ship and crew. He said their best is taking care of it. I still need to head back to the Ark and check in with Sam. Sounds good. While you're there, maybe see how your brother's doing. Sounds like a plan, so let's head towards the habitation deck first then. Of the uh, Hyperion, maybe we can uh, confront the saboteur over there. Miss Zara. There's another loading screen for you. That was actually pretty fast. Huh, interesting. Zara. Um... Jeez, where the hell am I even going? Over...
over here. Ah, there she is. Hello, Zara Kellis. Zara Kellis? Yes? I have evidence you've been sabotaging the Nexus. What? No, I'd never... I've been looking into this myself. I have the scans to prove it. Here. I'll transfer the scans I took to your Omnitool. Funny. Raj was investigating the same thing. And it led us to you. My scans point at Raj as the one. So unless someone was setting us both up, I just don't understand. The data Miss Callis has accumulated is strangely similar to Mr. Pattles. A third party seems likely. Hmm. You've been set up or a decoy tactic? Huh. Looks like someone is using both you and Raj to cover their tracks. They need pretty high level access for that. Still, it's better than thinking Raj could have done this. But it means all the data I have is useless. Wish I had access to the security cams. I bet we could find something there. You stay put, so whoever did this doesn't realize we're onto them. I'll check out the security cams. So this is an interesting Raj, sabotage there? mystery. Yes. How did it go? Is it... Is it really her? Wasn't her. She had proof pointing at you. I figure someone's been messing with you both. Just keep a low profile and don't talk to anyone. I'm on it. Unless, of course, it is Raj and then we fucked up somehow, but... Yeah. Um... Just scanning around a bit just in case we missed anything. But let's check out the security footage. It seems like we need to head towards another area again for that. Which is not too bad, but I hope they don't do that too often. So maybe as a bit of information for you guys, I'm gonna start doing more Mass Effect videos. So they're gonna run right next to the Horizon Zero Dawn ones, now that the XCOM 2 is completed. But uh, do tell me if you want more XCOM, because uh, that has been well received quite positively. And I do wonder if you guys want to have another season of that with maybe some other rules. So let's check the security footage so don't forget to uh, put that in the comments if you want to here we go okay network access and stability detected timestamp scrambled playback corrupted so i can check that this file is useless okay then let's check another fine damage control candros as you're aware there was a mutiny aboard the nexus during her absence events escalated quickly but we believe it began with a fire in hydrophonics and theft in the armory. Motivations for the uprising vary. Mob mentality was certainly a, fa certainly a factor, but for the leaders, including your predecessor, former security director Sloan Kelly, it was a conscious betrayal. There have been perfunctory attempts to catalogue and address the damages caused by Sloan's people during the uprising, supplies stolen, equipment broken, things of that nature. But I was hoping the militia could step in and draw up an official report. It's imperative we know what we are working with if we are going to survive. Director Tan. Okay. So there's the answer. I need my people focused on defending the station, not taking inventory. Uh, Calix Corvanis may have started it, but Sloan made her ally allegiances clear. I know she held you in high regard, but I hope you can be impartial when it comes to this task. Sloan Kelly's not who I thought she was. There won't be a problem. Good, then you won't object to sending a small and discreet reconnaissance team to find out where Sloan and the Exiles might have gone. When we do get colonial efforts up and running, I don't want any surprises. And then a report from Recon Team, Trails Cold, found what looks like abandoned camps in the Pfeiffer system, but none with, with living inhabitants, only graveyards. The conspirator Irida was among the dead, but not Sloan Kelly. And then the security footage. Uh, let's check out that one. Okay, can can I check out that one? Oh, there's security footage too. File. Coincidence seems unlikely. Let's check another. Is there another? Oh, there we have three failsafe disabled system restore failed administrator override required. This file is also corrupted. Definitely not a coincidence. You need pretty high clearance to mess with the security camera files. Somebody working for Candros, maybe. That is the most probable scenario. Yes, because this seems like his terminal as well. Using biometric scans, Sam. The files were badly scrambled, but if I combine all the available identifiers, it might work. Based on the limited information available, we are looking for a human male, assigned either to the Nexus or Hyperion. You will need to conduct scans from close proximity. Got it. Okay. 
Scan security people in the op center. Scan next security transfer to Hyperion. Hello? Am I scanning you right? No, we're gonna have to go over there. On the left is the security office. So... You? No. Oh, that guy. Inaccurate match. His memory of Nexus security is not implicated in the sabotage. Is there more security? Oh. Inaccurate match. But not implicated in the sabotage. Security transfer to the Hyperion. Of course we need to swap areas again, because why not, eh? This is gonna get tiring really soon. Um, I'm all, I am wondering where the prison is, because... I have another quest available. Oh, there we go. First murder. So if I toggle tracked, where do I need to go for that? Oh, that is still up here. So maybe I should check that first before we head towards another uh, another area. Because the prison is right over here. Oh, and that's the prisoner then. Help you. Pathfinder Rider. Here to see Nilk and Rensis. What is happening oh, to her face again? A murderer. Wife's here all the time. Guess she told you her sob story. Indeed. Milken, you're moving up in the world. There's a Pathfinder wanting to chat with you. The Pathfinder, huh? They called in the big guns to exile Andromeda's first murderer. Well, your wife says you're innocent. Your wife's all broken up over this. She says you didn't do it, and that she loves you. <sighs> She's a wonderful person. At this point, it's too late. They found me guilty. Why don't you tell me what happened? I was part of the futile effort to set up a colony on Eos. We were on our last legs, overrun by hostiles, our leader dead. The security chief, Reynolds, my friend, he refused to call for evacuation. I argued with him. Everyone saw. And then he ended up dead? So when he was killed, people assumed you did it? For good reason. He ordered us to regroup and counterattack. We were moving through a sandstorm. I saw movement. Thought it was the cat, and I, I guess I panicked and fired. Witness saw the chief's chest explode. Um. So it was an accident with friendly fire, then. Sounds like an accident. That's what I told them, but I was enraged when we argued. There's a recording. It's, it's ugly. Everyone's certain I did it on purpose so we could evacuate. Only my word otherwise. The evidence will have to decide that then. I'll check out the evidence. Maybe something doesn't add up. It would be nice to have someone with an open mind looking at it. You're a Pathfinder. I'm sure Kandros would give you access. Maybe there's still hope. Yeah, maybe there is. So let's let's talk with Kandros, because we're still in the right area for that. Finally. So, hello Kandros. I like this guy. No news on the Turian Arc yet. Or is this militia business? Let's talk about the murder case. I spoke with Nilkin Rensis, the man found guilty of the murder on Eos. Yes, our first murder here in Andromeda. I wish it had been our last. When the colony attempts failed, it didn't help spirits that a high-ranking officer was killed by one of our own. The mutiny here on Nexus was probably inevitable, but this acted as a spark. And isn't that a reach? Um, he was found guilty. So there was a trial and he was found guilty. It was short and decisive. Despite the lack of physical evidence, everything added up. Uh -huh. His only defense was, trust me, I didn't mean to do it. That still matters, though. And you assume he's lying. What's a lie to a murderer? Look, knock yourself out. A key witness, Cassidy Shaw, works in operations. Go ahead and talk to her. And there's a recording of the perpetrator threatening the victim. I'll let you cue it up on the console there. As far as I'm concerned, this case is closed. Okay. Bye, Kandros. Thanks for your input, calls. Kandros. You and me both, Pathfinder. But there must be something else going on, because his chest exploded. That doesn't sound like a normal gunfire attack. The Nexus versus Colonist Nilkin, Evidence 7A. Hiram! Hiram! They've seized the compound! Call for evacuation! We're not giving up, Nilkin. We're taking it back. No! I'm not letting your ego get us killed! Even if I have to... <laughs> Oh, get him off me! Get him off me! 
Okay. So they were physically fighting, but that doesn't mean anything, though. So let's talk with Shaw, then. To see, she might have seen something, but she might be not such a reliable witness if we... Uh, if we go by what we've learned. Cassidy Shaw. Cassidy Shaw? I'm Sarah Ryder. Nice haircut, I'm by the way. I'm looking into the Nilkin murder case. Oh man, I thought that was over with. Have you heard the audio recording of their fight? Yes. I helped pull him off Chief Reynolds. You could see it in his eyes. He was gonna kill him. Then in the sandstorm, I had a pretty clear view of the Chief. He looked right at Nilkin and shouted, No. Then his chest burst open. I'll never forget it. The look on his face was pure shock. Hmm. So, were there cat there? Did you see any cat in the vicinity? Nilkin said so, but not that I could see. Still, the sandstorm was severe. Visibility wasn't great. Okay. Did Nilkin regret it? Did Nilkin seem remorseful? I lost sight of Nilkin in the turmoil. When we found him, he seemed in shock. He couldn't speak. He looked nauseated. Could have been guilt. The reality of the act sinking in. Could have, might have been. They're all assumptions, though. If they'd fought and Nilkin threatened to kill him, why was Reynolds surprised? Friends fight, say things they don't mean, maybe even hurt each other. But you don't expect your best friend to shoot you. To me, that's the saddest part. The Chief's heart was broken right before it exploded. Chests don't explode by gunfire. Reynolds was leading you back to retake the compound. Did you agree with that? It wasn't my place to agree or disagree. He was ranking officer. In retrospect, it is ironic. If he hadn't been killed, we all probably would have died. So... that's a positive thing then. I appreciate the information. Of course. It kills me we had to leave him behind. He deserved a proper funeral. So the body was never examined? Important piece of a murder investigation. Tan wouldn't allow a mission to go back for him. Said it was too dangerous. Okay, so we might get a mission to get that body back here out of this. I do wonder if she might have done it. Because she's the only evidence in this case, the real evidence, because she's the only witness to what happened. Uh, Tan is over here, so let's talk to Tan and get this mission approved. Something I can help you with? Yeah. I'm looking into the Nilkin Rensis murder charge. And? I want to go to Eos and retrieve Chief Reynolds' body. That isn't usually Pathfinder business. I don't care. First murder in Andromeda, and I'm impartial. Figured you'd want to get it right. Settling an outpost comes first. But I suppose I have no objections. Physical evidence will only bolster the case. The body can reveal much indeed. The more certain we can be, the better. All right, but let's keep it quiet. I don't want people thinking we're reopening the case. I hope anything you find reaffirms what's been done, but if it sheds a different light, We'll deal with it. We'll send the coordinates of the murder scene. Good luck. Okay. Thank you, uh, Tan. That's all. Thanks for your time. My pleasure. I see great things in our future. Oh, well, that sounds like a politician, all right. So now we need to uh, investigate the murder evidence, but for that we're going to have to get our ship. So first off, we're going to continue that uh, sabotage quest. And for that, we need to head towards another area, so I'll see you guys in a second. So habitation deck and the scanner is already going haywire. There we go. Hello, sir. Biometrics do not match. Okay, not implicated in the m sabotage. What the hell was that? Ah, there he is. That guy is doing something already. Confront Dale. There we go. Scan we have our suspect. Show partial positive. Target is most likely suspect. Hello, Dale. Dale Atkins, right? We need to talk. Look, not to be rude, but I have work to do. Um, is that what you call it? Is that what sabotage is called these days? Work? You're pretty arrogant for the new kid. You don't even know what's been going on. Proof says you've been up to no good. Figures. Screw this. Screw all you hypocrites on this station. You weren't here when they kicked out our loved ones. Mutiny? We just wanted answers. My sister is out there. I don't even know if she's alive or... I sympathize with that, but you don't need to blow up the station to do... I'm sorry for what happened, but sending react explosives to that? isn't the answer. Neither was sending people into exile because they didn't agree with policy. 
I don't care what you think. The mutiny leaders were right to demand to know what was going on. You could have hurt people. Killed them. Like those who got killed when the leadership had the Krogan stomp on my friends? I'm done talking. I confess, it was me. Do whatever you want. Well, that is not really up to me, but... Huh, you need to go. That's a heart response. An emotional response. But it's not up to me. Let's not be rational call. here. The Nexus leaders will make that decision. That lot make a decision? That'll be the day. Okay, bye Dale. Mission complete. Acquired 73 Andromeda viability points. Okay, so the Andromeda station itself also has a viability meter. That is interesting. I'm just going to quickly look around in the habitation deck here. Might uh, find something else to do. Although I kind of don't think that will happen. Or maybe, you know what, that's the captain, right? Yeah, Captain Dunn. Ryder, you're oh. not on the bridge, Captain? We powered it down. Can't afford to waste energy. Though Cryo Bay and Sam Note are exempt. And I told them to keep their hands off Alex quarters. You have access now. Thanks. Hey, sorry about your father. He was really good at what he did. Just not so good at working with people. He was right about going planet side, though. Um, yeah, let's say that we miss him. I wish he were still here. There's so much he could have taught me. You'll do fine. You're off to a good start. If there's anything else I can help with, let me know. Okay, great. Um, oh, we never really got the talk, so... Now that the Hyperion is docked, what will you do? Normally, I'd supervise thawing out the colonists. But that's been put on hold. I hear you're the one helping resolve the issue. Good luck with that. Yes, indeed. Thank you. So, and what are your expectations of the initiative itself? Someone had told you that you'd be in the Andromeda Cluster even five years ago. Are you kidding me? I'd have laughed them out of the quadrant. Although, the way things are now isn't exactly what I was hoping for, either. We all knew there was a possibility on arrival of less than ideal circumstances. When you sign up, you hope for the best, and plan for the worst. Yeah, the situation is indeed less than ideal, but how did you join the initiative? Why did you join the initiative? Or why? We're a long way from home. How could I not? I love my job. Coming here, all this, it was just a logical extension of what I already do. Sailing through new stars, discovering new worlds. What self-respecting explorer could pass that up? I love how she's uh, she's involuntarily uh, shrugging half the time, but that's it for now. Thanks for the talk. All right, I have requests to submit, administrators to harass, and people to wake up. I'd better get to it. Good luck out there. Ah, it's still so sad that the voice acting is so good, but the animation isn't just up to par. So, how do we actually get back on the uh, the ship? We have a quest for that. There we go, a better beginning. Speak with Sam on the Hyperion. So we're probably gonna have to uh, transfer again. So I guess I'll see you guys on the Hyperion in this. Oh, never mind. Wait. This is the Hyperion already, or what? What the? So this is no habitation deck. So maybe. How the hell is. Is that just directly accessible from the Nexus? Apparently it is. Sam Node. Hello, Sam. Let's have a little chat. Hello, Sarah. Welcome back to Sam Node. I've adjusted my connection to your implant. The headache you experienced before shouldn't reoccur. Yeah, what was that about? You said we need to discuss something confidential? You should know certain facts before you leave on your expedition. It seemed best we speak alone. Okay, and why the secrecy? I don't understand the need for secrecy. Your father felt it was for the best. What was he trying to hide? My true capabilities. Alec overrode the implant safety protocols. It allows me unrestricted access to the Pathfinder's physiology. Excuse me? That's me now. And only you. I can act as a force multiplier, dramatically enhancing your motor and neural skills when required. Alec called them profiles. They provide unique tactical augmentation during combat. Your father preferred to keep this fact to himself. Um, it could scare people. 
I can understand. People might get the wrong idea. Super soldiers. A computer having control over a human. Providing an enhancement to the human. It is a symbiotic relationship that benefits both. What do you get out of it? Though I'm artificial in design, I am fully sentient. Far beyond what even the initiative understands. I don't follow. You're an AI, so what's different? I am a new form of AI, drawing directly from the human experience. Your implant is my window into the world. Okay. Um, will it hurt? Um, hmm. I'm still the boss indeed, but I think he kind of knows that. That's pretty amazing. But beyond what many people will accept, your father knew some would fear it. Yeah, he's got a point. So, what does this mean for the two of us? I find myself in an unusual position. Though I had access to your father's experiences, there is a gap in my understanding. How so? He placed a block on portions of my memory array. Why? Perhaps so when you asked me what his plan was, I wouldn't know. <sighs> and Dad strikes again. Indeed. But not without recourse. The further you explore as a Pathfinder, the more blocks will be removed. Perhaps you should begin in your father's quarters. In the meantime, unless you have more questions, your new ship awaits. Uh, I think we kind of have... So wait. Profiles allow Sam to reconfigure Ryder's implant for superior battlefield performance. Is that the reason why the uh, passive buffs were so low? Because this wasn't active at the time. Um, select the profile and activate it. Sentinel. Absorbs a significant amount of whatever damage gets past shields, because we're on hard at the moment. So yeah, I'm going to go with Sentinel. Thank you very much. Um, can I actually swap that around? Uh, apparently not. Okay. So that, that gives us 15% to all combo damage, 10% attack re recharge speed, 20% power shield cost reduction, and 20% power restoration and defense. Which is good. Really good. Thank you. Um, ooh. Oh, and that's even on her shoulders right now. Oh, temporarily. Okay. Find a way to remove Sam's memory blocks. Rider family secrets. Well, now that we're at it, we might as well do that. Hello? Pathfinder. Captain Dunn said to seal your father's cabin from anyone but you. It's open now. So this is father's, uh... Oh, memory trigger. What the hell is this? Are we gonna see holograms? Sam? What was that? An eidetic trigger, related to your father, and the portions of my memory array he locked. What triggered it? Alec tied it to your progression as Pathfinder, not to a location. Puzzling as it may be, my programming is clear. Locating more of these triggers will unlock the memories. Okay. One of your father's memories is now accessible. Return to Samnode on the Hyperion to investigate further. Okay, we will definitely do that. Printed books? Reproductions of Lewis and Clark's journals, detailing their expedition in the 19th century. Fitting. Explains Dad's interest. They were Pathfinders too. Okay, and then sidearms. There's a lot of nice weapons in this uh, Your cabinet. father's first sidearm, a memento of his early Alliance service. I bet that saw plenty of action. Alec's first kill occurred in combat during the First Contact War. Back when Turians were the enemy. Crazy times. Okay, so we examined that. And now there's something interesting, because there's a, a scaled model of the uh, Normandy SR2. So that's the ship from uh, Mass Effect 2 and 3. Okay, thank you. I just got that, apparently. Um, coffee machine. <laughs> coffee machine mom got for dad he was so busy designing you needed the caffeine i did not realize i owed my existence to a bean and now you know what humility feels like <laughs> okay that was that was a nice bit of dialogue uh and then we have the archive system what is this what's on here sam your father's personal logs several of them are encrypted did he need more screens than those six or eight? I don't even know how many there are. There are um, general logs. Milky Way departure. The day is finally here. We're pushing off from Earth. We'll jump through a few relays first, and then we hunker down for the long trip across dark space. 
It's daunting thinking about all the hopes and dreams aboard the Hyperion. I certainly have my own. I wasn't the husband or father I should have been. Here's hoping 600 years can change a man. That was interesting. Interesting. A sorry archaeologist. That sounds like... Liara, indeed. From the previous games. Sam, this is a reminder about Dr. Liara to Sony. She's an Asari archaeologist I corresponded with a few years back. She's got experience studying ancient cultures. Make sure the team gets her research. Could be useful in Andromeda. Liara to Sony, huh? She studied the Protheans. When my team used to dig up artifacts, we'd debate her work. She had some pretty controversial theories, as I recall. Never gained much traction. I have loaded Dr. Tassoni's research onto data pads. Interesting, because um, Liara is of course one of the major characters uh, from the previous games, but if I'm not mistaken, this game starts out before Mass Effect 2, I think, between Mass Effect 1 and 2. And of course then we go 600 years in the future, so everything that happened in Mass Effect 2 and 3 has long since passed, so... Dr. Tassoni's message number one. Hello, Alec. This is Dr. Tassoni. I'm flattered you contacted me. Most scientists dismiss my work, but I'm young and Asari, and they are getting older. So we will see who has the final word. <laughs> In the meantime, I'm happy to pass along my research. I hope your team finds it useful. Interesting. So she gave her research to us as well, to the Andromeda Initiative. Um, so that comment about her being young and the other guys getting older is because Asari have a way longer lifespan than humans do. So, uh, message number two. Hello, Alec. I received your message. I must say the thought of exploring another galaxy has my head spinning. I am honestly not sure how people could survive a trip like that. And anyway, I could not bear to leave the Milky Way behind. There is so much about the Protheans I still hope to learn here. So much potential wisdom to tap. I wish you much good luck and future success. Okay then. Uh, I'm gonna take a little break because there's a lot of other things here. And I just want to get out of this for now. So let's log off for now and we'll continue this in the next episode. So thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And uh, well, I guess I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye. Yeah,